Hey, it's Pastor Jesse here on day number 20 of our 10,000 Reasons devotional journey. And man, I'm excited to be with you today. Today, we're really wrapping up this topic around faith on our devotional journey. We've looked at all kinds of different aspects of faith, that we speak it, we receive it, we see it, we act on it. There's all these different elements of faith that causes something that God gives us in a seed or what starts off small. And as we do these things, our faith begins to grow. It begins to take on a life of its own. And we begin to see what God's place in our heart begin to come out of our mouth, out of our actions. That's what faith is all about. Faith isn't just a one-time thing, but it's a lifestyle that we live. And uh, today we're going to look at Nehemiah just here for a moment, that Nehemiah is in the middle of a situation where he is, he is, being made fun of really because of his faith. His faith is being challenged. His faith is being tested and his enemies are are really mocking him and, and trying to discourage the faith that God's given him to complete the rebuilding of the walls. And let's look at how Nehemiah responds to this criticism and to this resistance. In Nehemiah chapter 2 verse 20 it says, Then I replied to them, The God of heaven will make us prosper. And we, his servants, will arise and build, but you have no portion or right or claim in Jerusalem. I love how Nehemiah responds to resistance. He first understands that really faith is always going to be tested. In this journey, especially this 10,000 Reasons journey, we can, we can dream big dreams, but faith, real faith, is going to come with resistance. It's going to come and it's going to be tested. And this is the powerful thing is, is that really a faith that hasn't been tested is a faith that can't be trusted. And God wants you to have confidence in the dreams that he's given you. He wants your faith to grow, and faith grows through resistance. And Nehemiah is encountering this resistance, but I love how he responds. He takes really what we've been learning about and puts it into action. He begins to speak out the promises of God. He says, listen, God is going to prosper me. God is going to prosper me. And for us, here's what we're going to do. We're going to act on it. We're going to arise and we're going to begin to build. And he understands that as he continues to move in faith, that simply resistance, all resistance does is cause our faith to grow stronger and stronger. And here's my encouragement to you today is, is that during this 10,000 Reasons journey, you're going to face resistance to the goal of generosity that God's placed in your heart. It's going to come against you, but here's what you do. You put the things into, into play that you've learned about faith. You speak out boldly the promises of God, and you say, you resolve that, man, I'm going to continue to act and move forward on the vision and the dream and the faith that God's given me. And as we do that, we begin to exercise the muscle of faith, and we begin to see God do the miraculous in our lives. That's my encouragement to you today is that when you face resistance, go back over these devotionals and begin to put into play the things that you've learned to begin to hide God's word in your heart, his promises in, in your heart. So why? When resistance comes, you can pull from that reservoir of what God's been speaking to you and you can begin to speak it out and begin to move forward in boldness and clarity. Why? Because the thing God's given you faith for, the world really needs. Our city really needs and the world that you live in is expecting and is hoping that somebody's going to step out in faith to bring hope, to bring salvation, to bring joy to the world that we live in. And that's what God's calling you to. And my prayer is, is that, that when you face resistance, you will find the strength on the inside, the confident assurance that faith brings to not give up, to press in and to hold on to what God's asked you to do and what God's calling you to do. That's my prayer for you today. In fact, let me pray for you before we leave today. Jesus, I thank you for Christ's place, Lord. I thank you for every person that's watching this devotional. God, I pray that when resistance comes, Lord God, we would find our strength, Lord God, in the faith that you've given us, that we would be confident, that we'd speak out in boldness, and we would go back in the journey and look back over what we've learned and put it into play. So why? So that resistance will simply strengthen our faith. Lord, we love you today. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hey, hope you have a great day. So looking forward to continue this journey with you. Put into practice what you've learned. Exercise your faith. Love you. Have a great day.